time, no vlog. Let me just try and locate my little pooch. Because he has been, oh, look, look, look. What do we have here? Don't lay in that sun for too long because you'll overheat. It is. Excuse the building site of the garden, by the way. Um, we're still having work done. Oh, that's too zoomed for anyone to see. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Um, oh my goodness, I just did like a gym class in what is set to be like the hottest day um, in UK history. I don't know if it's UK history, but it felt really hot when I was working out in it. So um, yeah, I'm working from home today. It's a Wednesday, long time no vlog. Just thought that I would pick up the camera and catch up with you guys. Um, we can talk all things, oh my goodness, my hair. We can talk all things books, all things July TBR, all things um, fantasy and romance in this video. I just thought that I would catch up and do like a little reading vlog because I've kind of been, I haven't been in a slump, but I didn't read as much as I thought I would read on my holiday um, because it was quite like family um like we had loads going on, like it wasn't just like a chill holiday, we were there for like a family party, um, but yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the camera and do like a realistic read with me, um, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on, I'm just going back to look back onto works, I just went and did a, as I said, just went and did a gym class in my lunch break, um, and it's a beautiful sunny day, so I might even work outside this afternoon, see what, see where the mood takes me, uh, yeah, Wednesday, so we're midweek, and um, I will catch up with you guys all things books and life and reading and we can just spend a fun little few days together. We're actually celebrating Slice's birthday this weekend so maybe take you along there as well. Get some, get some sneaky clips of our absolute um, carnage that I think this weekend's going to be. So tune in. Tune in. Stay tuned. Tune in. Hello, hello, um, excuse me if I look like I have no hair, Slice, I said it Slices last night and she plaited it for me, so I look like a little cute little egg, um, yes, I thought that I would just update you guys, um, because I haven't, but I just finished, like literally this evening, um, I was watching the football and I just finished uh, One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake, and it was just such a beautiful book, like so beautifully written. I loved the characters. Like it was kind of a little bit lost on me at the end, some of like the plot points I don't think I fully grasped. But I really enjoyed that book, so I rated it four stars. And then I was like, oh, what should I start? Because I really want to do a Magnolia Parks um tandem read. Like it's so on my radar right now. But I only have like part of the order like written out because I want to write the order out and then like tick it off as I go, so don't get confused with the first two books. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to write the order out tomorrow at work and then start that in July. Um, but so for the meantime, I thought, well, what can I read in the interim? Um, I'm actually a hundred and oh, let me have a book. I'm actually 182 pages into the fine print by Lauren Asher. Um, my first ever Lauren Asher book. Uh, I know that she is like such a popular author. Um, yeah, 182 pages in, I, because I was reading it, like, alongside reading One for My Enemy, but not really, like, committing to it, I was kind of, like, reading it on the train, like, every so often, um, I'm not, like, obsessed, I won't lie, like, I'm kind of, like, meh, but I am 182 pages, so I'm coming up to halfway, and I thought, I might as well just read the other half of this, get it done, get it read, I'm, like, three books behind on my Goodreads goal, so I thought, at least if I read this for the next couple of days, hopefully I can finish it, um, either tomorrow realistically or Tuesday maybe read another like sort because of, I think it's about 400 pages so it's about another 200 something pages so nothing drastic um but obviously I'm at work so we'll see I don't want to like pressure myself to read like a load of books because it's just been so busy in my life to be honest I do still exist on this channel I know Slice has done the last few videos but yeah welcome to um a realistic sort of reading vlog read with me we're going to read some lauren asher and then if i finish that we can um start the magnolia parks tandem together which i'm so excited about so yeah this is a little realistic vloggy week i have a busy week at work and a busy week like life wise um 
I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm finding. Sorry, let's get some light on the situation. Um, I'm finding the fine print so cringy. Um, I'm just getting ready to work. So I thought I'd give you a book update, but I'm literally finding it so cringy. I can't go. Oop. He's like, oh, shit. I've never felt anything like this before. I'm normally this grumpy businessman, and I love her so much. I'm like, <sighs> normally, I think my book taste has changed. Because normally, I would eat this up. I would be like the first one at the buffet eating this up. But, I don't know, maybe my book taste has changed. And, um, look how beautiful, like, my little one for my enemy. Maybe it's because I just read this, which is, like, really deep and romantic and, like, lit literate. And, like, she writes so beautifully, Olivia Blake. That going from that to, like, the fine print. I'm halfway through the fine print. I'm just trying to, like, speed read it, if you want the truth, to get it over with. Like, I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't feel original to me at all. Like... I don't know, how, how are Laura Nash's books so popular? Oh no, that was a bitchy thing to say. Sorry, but it's true. Then you have the likes of, like, Jessa Hastings, who literally writes, like, these toxic, beautiful, like, literate, like, lyrical love stories, and you just think, then you read something like that, and you're just like, so cringe, so cliche, so cringe. So, yeah, I'm not enjoying myself at the moment, but I'm hopefully going to start my tandem read um, over the next few days because I'm not having a good time. It's like beautiful. I just, wanted, I just wanted to show you this beautiful little sunset book. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Updates, 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 updates. Let me get you the book I'm reading. Well, I'm currently reading three books, but that will all make sense in a moment. Um, so I start. I started reading Set on You. Realistically, let me put you guys down. You can balance on iron today. Let it just know that lighting is horrific. Let me. Thank you guys. Um, so I started reading um, Set on You by Amy Lee. This is one of the books that my cousin gave me in, when she sent me all those books because she works at Penguin. So like I didn't actually pick this up for myself. Um, and it's about a curvy fitness influencer. And at the moment, because I'm only on chapter 4, page 36. Um, at the moment she's in the gym and she's got this gym crush and he keeps like stealing her equipment and she's like, don't steal my equipment, boy. And he's like really handsome. But yeah, I could never relate because I was thinking of anything worse than having a gym crush. But I've literally just sat up there, haven't been reading this because I have been reading. So I'm reading this like in the day because we have an exciting, exciting turn of events. Um, I am currently reading the Magnolia Parks books, doing a tandem read, um, and I'm really excited about it. I have my little tandem reading order, and I am on chapter four of Magnolia Parks and chapter three of Daisy Hates. So they only just started, but I'm hoping that this weekend I can crack on with um yeah having a read and i'm actually getting through my tbr which i'm quite liking the fact that i'm on a book ban because i'm actually reading like some of my tbr like i read terms and no not terms and conditions i'm lying i read the fine print which has been on my tbr for a couple of months now because elise gave me the book but it's been on my, i've had it downloaded on my kindle for months um so i read that didn't really rate it but now I'm obviously reading that set on you because I can't take um, the big Magnolia Parks books because I'm reading both of them at the same time out and about. So they're my kind of like evening read just to sort of annotate them. So I'm not in any hurry with them. I'm just going to like read a few chapters every night. 
like annotate like you know there's no real hurry with them and then I'm going to keep reading like my books in the day um yeah so I'm just like really motivated and energized for reading which is good because I have not been like that for the past couple of months but I'm really just enjoying the soft life spending my weekends reading annotating books highlighting keep quotes making pinterest boards for my books journaling like like just all things like that that are like you know spiritual girl shit you know spiritual girl shit. well yeah spiritual like the soft life that's what i'm about taking care like doing my skincare reading my books and just that is literally me doing my skincare reading my books minding my business that is my triple threat that is what i'm about i'm telling you now strawberries sorry that was like I thought oh my goodness I thought that I would just talk about books because unless I'm missing something which way do I need to go so this lighting isn't so annoying I'm not really, I feel like last summer there was loads of like new releases and summer reads that I was so excited about and this summer I'm just not, so I'm on like a book buying ban because I really want to get around to some of the books on my TBR because they've just been on there for like the longest time and I'm kind of not hating it because the last couple of times that I've been into Waterstones I haven't been like, oh my god I need this, oh my god I need this you know, so I'm like, normally I go in there and I'm like, oh, that's been released, or that's been released, like I know Reckless by Lauren Roberts has just, um, was released there yesterday, but I wasn't like in love with that enough to like run and buy the next one, I mean, if you've watched my fantasy book Rex, then you'll see that, but yeah, I'm excited to read and I'm not slumping because I'm enjoying the books that I'm reading. I'm just not thinking that, like, there's anything 100% new and original. Maybe I just need to do some more research on, like, some new releases and try and find some different books. Because I really did enjoy um, One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. So maybe my new tactic is to just, like, read by authors that I love. So maybe I'll go and buy some more. Do you know what? I might have a look on... Here's me like, oh, I'm really fine on my book buying ban. I might have a look online and see if I can get another Olivia Blake book because I really did enjoy her writing. I'm sorry. I'm so also sorry if you hate seeing people eat. But, yeah, maybe, do you know what? That's a really good idea. I never worked like that. I never, like, unless it's, like, part of a series, if I really love an author... I don't then think, oh, I'll, I'll go and, like, get something else by them, when realistically I should, because that's the whole point of, if you like an author, then their writing style, obviously, just go and buy more books by them. Hmm. But, I'm deep in my tandem read. I'm not deep, I've just, like, literally just started it. But, I'm enjoying that, because Jessa Hastings, again, is an author that I adore. But, yeah. That's my update. I'm going to finish eating my breakfast. And today when I'm at work, and should be working, I might do some research of some Olivia Blake books. I know Slice has got Alone With You in the Ether, which technically then I wouldn't be breaking my book by man if I were to get off her this weekend. Girl math, girl math, girl math. So yeah, maybe I might do that. Get Alone With You 
in the ether. But then again, I don't need it because I've got a shelf full of books up there. Swings them, swings them round about. Why do I have to just, you know, constantly involve myself in the corporate rat race? Um, yeah, still got my job. I'm not. I have no plans <laughs> to like change careers and go and work in waterstones or anything of the kind but i'm so jealous if you do do that um yeah sorry about that that was a complete ramble i don't even know how much of that i'll be able to input but i'm at the station now waiting to get my train ready to go into work um i might get myself a matcha because i'm just feeling a little bit like tired and run down um with a lot on my mind so Maybe I'll do some journaling on the train. Get into healthy girl habits, even though I was just talking about, why is there such a push for habits, habits, habits? But I suppose it is it's good at times like this. But, yeah. I've got my outside book, which is um, Set On You by Amy Lee, which is about a girl and her gym crush. Um, at the moment, it's quite, like, cringe. But it's I'm enjoying it for just, like, outside the house because I can't bring my big Magnolia Parks and Daisy Hates. I can't turn them outside, you know, I need to, people think I'm weird, well, people already think I'm weird, but weirder than they already do, so, yeah, I don't know if this is going to be just a complete and utter ramble, and how much of this footage will actually make it, and if this is even of any interest to anyone, but, this is life, man, this is life, this is life. I've got lip balm that I keep in my car, but it's always got like fluff and stuff on the top. That's so disgusting, Georgia. she's in bed again it's like do i vlog anywhere anywhere other than in my bed or in my car um no is the answer to that but i thought that i would give you guys an update um it's jenny leck day in the uk today so i hope that everyone went out and voted if you wanted to if you didn't and that's fine that's fine you do you. um i thought that i would give you guys an update i hope you're gonna stay there but i don't know if you are on it's upside down set on you here it is so i just want to give you guys a brief update because this book has really hooked me i'm like 80 pages in um i need to, i'm gonna read some more uh, over this weekend because i have a hair appointment but that's all gonna be in a different vlog a fun vlog so i'm gonna probably end this this vlog um this evening but um, yeah, I'm reading Set On You, and it's about a girl called Crystal, and she is a, where is she, that's Scott, that, this is Crystal, and she's basically like a curvy, like, fit, fitness influencer, and um, she's at the gym, and something happens, and she has like a little gym crush, and then something else happens, and um, I can't give it away, I can't give too much away, but she meets her gym crush in real life. And A, it's making me, like, want to go to the gym more. Um, and B, it's giving, like, rom-com, like, just no brain cells, like, cute vibes. I mean, not cute yet. But things have, at first, I was a bit like, oh, this is boring. Like, it's just in, like, the gym setting. Like, the first few chapters, like, she just kept seeing him at the gym. And I was like, I don't like the gym at the best of times. I don't want to read about it. I don't want to read about the gym. Um, yeah, but... It's really hooked me because something else happened and they see each other in like a different setting and I won't give too much away but they see each other in a actually I think it's on the back no it's not on the back so I won't give anything away but um yeah it's really hooked me and I'm really enjoying it so I'm literally it's ooh, Thursday night I'm going to uh, carry on reading for a bit but it is quite late because as I say it's Jenny Leck day and we went out to vote um and I'm gonna carry on reading I am going to drink my spearmint tea because it's that time of the month and girls, spearmint tea is meant to be really good for you when you're 
ovulation station. Um, yeah, so I'm going to carry on reading and I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry this was like all over the place and rather boring. But this was just like I spend the week with me reading. Um, work's really busy at the minute so I'm trying to just like get in any reading time that I can. But I'm seeing Elise this weekend. I'm going to film like a fun little vlog because I've got a busy weekend which is going to be good. going to get lots of reading done, carry on doing my tandem read. So I'm feeling good about reading. I just need the time to do it. So if anyone wants to sponsor me like a full time, like a full time, like like adopt an elephant but adopt adopt a 28 year old so she can read all day long then that would be fantastic um but yeah i will catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little mini mini vlog love ya thank you bye <laughs>